to control blood pressure uh, in dogs at home I use Omron series 7 wrist monitor wrist monitor fits on large dogs leg calf monitors are too large uh, the cost of this monitor is about $50. The cost of one test at a vet clinic is about the same price. So if you have a need to control the blood pressure at home, it's a lot cheaper to purchase the monitor and do it at home. If you wonder how accurate the results are, I told you or my experience. I took my dogs to vet clinic where they measured uh, their blood pressure with the Doppler monitor, which is specific monitor for for dogs for vet purposes, and uh, the results were exactly the same as I got on this monitor. Uh, for dogs, they only care about uh, the higher number, which is systolic measurements. Uh, for some reason, diastolic measurement, which is the lower number, uh, uh, can't be accurately detected, so we just disregarded. I usually take about a dozen of um, tests within a 10-minute period, and I average the number. So right now you can see he has 127, which is a, a systolic number, and it's a bit high for him. Uh, but I was measuring it about uh, half an hour ago before I started filming, and his blood pressure was around 110, which is normal. Uh, I've also learned that the results in large dogs are the same as for people. So I think the average normal is about 110, 120 is a bit high already. So everything that goes above 120 is considered to be high blood pressure and if uh, your dog is in high blood has high blood pressure I recommend you going to the vet and uh, doing some tests, uh, especially looking into kidneys. Apparently, uh, high blood pressure and uh, kidney disease go hand in hand. There is another disease, Cushing's disease, that also connected to high blood pressure. So if you suspect your dog has high blood pressure, I recommend you taking your dog to the vet and doing further investigation.